Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cooks by Carrie. If you're new here, I'm Carrie and for today's Foodie Friday video, I'm sharing how to make this delicious cinnamon whipped cream that is perfect for so many fall treats, especially my pumpkin pie from my Monday video, which I'll link in the description down below. Whipped cream is seriously such an easy dessert and it is so perfect for fruit and like I mentioned, so many other things. I've already made a traditional vanilla bean whipped cream video, but this one's going to be a cinnamon one. The only ingredients required are going to be a cup of cream, two tablespoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And I know that this sounds like a lot of cinnamon because it is such a strong flavor, but believe me, since this is the primary flavor, the one teaspoon is perfect. It's not too overpowering, but you definitely can taste it. So to start off, I'm going to add in my cream to a bowl. The tip for the best and quickest whipped cream is to have a frozen bowl. So even though it doesn't really look like it, I did freeze my bowl for about maybe 20 minutes before I made the recipe, but you can do it for just 10 or overnight or whatever you want to do, but 10 minutes is sufficient enough. And then I'm just going in with a pan mixer with the whisk attachment. You can also use a stand mixer with the whisk attachment, or if you're feeling confident, you can just use a whisk. It will take a little bit longer and require more arm strength, but you can totally do that if you want. So I added in all my cream and then I added in all my sugar and I'm going to mix until it gets all whipped. So there's it's a little blurry here, sorry about that, but there's a few stages of um, w when you're whipping something. There's like foamy, then there's going to be um, a soft peak, I believe, and there's also something called a hard peak. And then what we're looking for is, I can't remember the exact name, but basically it's when you're whipping it all up and you eventually see that it will like stand on a spoon alone or like see stand on the mixer alone just like that. So once we've reached this stage, I'm going to go ahead and add in the cinnamon and then continue mixing. Be careful not to over mix. You might be like, okay, this whipped cream took me four minutes. How am I already done? But just don't second guess yourself. And when you think it looks ready, you're probably right. And you will notice that with the cinnamon, it does kind of slightly change the color of the whipped cream to almost a little bit more um, gray. And it's not going to be a perfect white, but that's perfectly fine. And you'll be able to see the specks of cinnamon. This whipped cream is so good. I think my favorite way to eat it is with some apples because it's kind of like the apple's kind of healthy. And then, you know, the sweetness kind of balances it out. It tastes so good. It kind of reminds me of like almost like a caramel apple or I don't know, something really good. So there we have it. That is the whipped cream. Really easy. It takes like five minutes and elevates any dessert. And really, it's just such a good thing to know. It's just a variation on simple whipped cream. Also, there's no exact recipe for this. Many whipped cream recipes are the same, and this one I kind of just came up with, and it's kind of similar to things online, though. And now I'm going to show it being added on to um, the pie that I made in my Monday video. It's such a good topper, and it kind of looks a little ugly the way I put it. I know. I was trying to... There's a picture in the... Um, dessert person cookbook of like a glob of whipped cream and so I was trying to do the same thing here but it didn't work out as well as me but you can put it in a piping bag or make it really pretty or if you just want a scoop you can just make a scoop but it actually tasted really good with the pumpkin pie and I highly recommend it and that is it for today's video thank you so so much for watching if you haven't already make sure to Follow me on Instagram at Cooks by Carrie. I post lots of fun photos of the food I cook. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Share this video with a friend, hit that thumbs up, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. I have a goal of 100 subscribers, so if you could please help me out with that, that'd be greatly appreciated. Alrighty, guys, I'll see you on Monday for a new video. Bye!